can you solve this trigonometric challenge? Here's the question. Given sine raised to the power of 6 of beta plus cosine raised to the power of 6 of beta equals 1 fourth, then what we're going to do is to evaluate this expression 1 over sine raised to the power of 6 of beta plus 1 over cosine raised to the power of 6 of beta. Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So given this equation, the goal is to evaluate this expression. 1 over sine raised to the power of 6 of beta plus 1 over cosine raised to the power of 6 of beta. Now, solving this kind of trigonometric puzzle, for sure, we will use this Pythagorean identity, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. Now, let's focus on this question. So, given this equation, the goal is to evaluate this. 1 over sine raised to the power of 6 of beta plus 1 over cosine raised to the power of 6 of beta. But notice, we can simplify this further as sine raised to the power of 6 of beta plus cosine raised to the power of 6 of beta all over the product of sine raised to the power of 6 of beta and cosine raised to the power of 6 of beta. Now, let's get our equation. And this is technically our numerator. So we don't have to get the value of the numerator because this is already given. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to find the value of the product of sine raised to the power of 6 of beta and cosine raised to the power of 6 of beta. Now the question is how do we get the product of sine and the cosine? Now one way is to square both sides. When we square on both sides, we get the product of sine raised to the power of 6 of beta and cosine raised to the power of 6 of beta. But the thing is, the exponent of sine and cosine becomes 12 and that's not good. So instead of raising both sides to a certain power, what we're going to do is to factor this out because take note this 6 is a multiple of 3 so we can use the sum of two cubes x cubed plus y cubed equals we can factor this out nicely as x plus y multiplied by x squared minus xy plus y squared now let's rewrite this in the form of sum of two cubes so sine raised to the power of 6 of beta we can rewrite this as sine squared beta raised to the power of 3. Also, cosine raised to the power of 6 of beta, we can rewrite this as cosine squared beta raised to the power of 3. Now, we can now apply this identity, the sum of two cubes. So when we factor this out, we have here sine squared beta plus cosine squared beta multiplied by sine raised to the power of beta minus sine squared beta times cosine squared beta plus cosine raised to the power of power beta equals 1 fourth. And... Notice this expression. This is the Pythagorean identity, so this is just equivalent to 1. Now, let's focus on this result. And what we're going to do is to rearrange some terms a little bit. Because now, we have now the product of sine and cosine. We have sine squared beta times cosine squared beta. But, we also have the sum of sine raised to the fourth power of beta plus cosine raised to the fourth power of beta. And take note, 4 and 4 are multiples of 2. So we will use this identity to factor this out. So x squared plus y squared, this can be written as x plus y raised to the power of 2 minus 2xy. Because sine raised to the fourth power of beta and cosine raised to the fourth power of beta, we can rewrite this as sine squared beta raised to the power of 2 and cosine squared beta raised to the power of 2. And now, if we do that, we get we can rewrite this as sine squared beta plus cosine squared beta raised to the power of 2 using this identity minus 2 times the product of sine squared beta and cosine squared beta. Now, again, this part, sine squared beta plus cosine squared beta, this is our Pythagorean identity, so this is just equivalent to 1. Now, let's focus on this result. Notice also that we can combine this negative 2 sine squared beta cosine squared beta to negative 1 sine squared beta times cosine squared beta. So this is just negative 3. And now, what we're going to do is to subtract 1 on both sides. 
have negative 3 times sine squared beta times cosine squared beta equals negative 3 over 4. Now, divide both sides by negative 3. So, this is just 1 over 4. This is the product of sine squared beta and cosine squared beta. But, we want the product of sine raised to the power of 6 beta times cosine raised to the power of 6 of beta. So, what we're going to do is to raise both sides by 3. And there you have it. This is now the product of sine squared beta times cosine squared beta. So, using these two results, we can now evaluate this expression. Because the numerator is just one-fourth, and the denominator is just one-fourth raised to the power of 3. Now, 1 over 4 over 1 over 4 raised to the power of 3. This is just 1 over 1 over 4 raised to the power of 2. Now, 1 over 4 raised to the power of 2 is 1 over 16. And 1 over 1 over 16 is technically equivalent to 16. And this is our final answer to this question. Therefore, given this equation, sine raised to the power of 6 of beta plus cosine raised to the power of 6 of beta equals 1 fourth, then the value of 1 over sine raised to the power of 6 beta plus 1 over cosine raised to the power of 6 of beta simply equal to 16. And as always, we are done.